snakeskin is always an awesome design to do, especially when you're using an airbrush. We're gonna take you through the steps of how to do this fall themed snakeskin look using the new Young Nails airbrush right now on Nail School. All right, man, you're gonna take us through a little snakeskin airbrushing. What do we got? I've been working on this design. I wanna be able to show you guys how I'm going to achieve the perfect snakeskin look with Go Time and three of the Aztec airbrush colors. It's gonna be super easy with the cordless unit. Check out how it's done. What I'm gonna be doing is using this full well clear tip and this putty as my platform to do my design. I'm going to put that onto the nail and then what we're going to do is I'm just gonna push this onto the surface. That way I have a nice even platform to work on top to practice my design. This is perfect for you to be able to work the designs as if you're working on a finger. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use OCD Proud, which is this awesome nude go time color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a nice thin coat over the surface as my background color. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to apply again a nice thin coat from cuticle to free edge. You don't have to put it on thick. You always want to be able to put it on nice and thin. And then once we have that nice thin coat, we're going to get it inside the light for a minimum of 60 seconds. Okay, once this is cured, you're going to take your into you netting, and what I've done is I've cut off a small square piece. And the reason why we have this is because this is going to be basically your mask. We're gonna use this as a mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get it even, and I'm just gonna wrap it around just like this to keep it tight at the cuticle area. And what I have is I have these uh, clips, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch uh, the webbing, as you can see, it's hanging from the bottom, just to keep it tight to the surface, that way I don't need to hold it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. I'm basically gonna open it up. I'm going to grab it just like this, and I'm going to just keep it nice and tight all the way to the very, very front. There we go. Just so that the webbing stays nice and tight to the surface, as you can see. So you can see how nice and tight it is to the surface and it's basically clipped on only to the webbing. This is a great way to keep it tight to the surface so it acts as the perfect mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the background with a very light mist of the opaque white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, again, white is gonna go a long way, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple drops and we're gonna put it inside. Gonna get a couple drops. All right, perfect. And then basically that's enough for me to just create a nice smooth misting over the surface. Okay. So I'm gonna put out a towel because I'm gonna spray on here before we actually spray onto the hand. I'm gonna fire this up. Make sure that we have air and then I just, perfect. I got a nice spray so I can adjust this I can adjust the amount on the back, right? If I go tight all the way, it's nothing is going to pull. It's just going to be air, as you can see. If I open it up a little bit more, you're going to notice that as I start to pull it back, I get a really nice spray onto the surface. And that's what I want. I want that really nice mist. I don't want to go real, real heavy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm just gonna kind of mist it, keeping my, keeping my angle the same all the way through. So, so I'm gonna keep my mist and I'm just gonna try to hit it in certain spots, maybe a little bit heavier on certain points. And as you can see, I got a really light misting on the surface and that's good enough to go. We're now going to flush out the white. We're gonna clean out the amount of paint that's inside the gun and we're going to switch it out to opaque black. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take opaque black and I'm just going to do a couple drops. One, two, okay. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fire it up 
And then I just wanna make sure that I'm getting a nice, easy mist, as you can see. Now remember, the heavier you pull back on the trigger, the more spray you're going to get. So what I wanna do, is I'm going to draw a diamond. That's what we wanna be able to do, a diamond on top and then a diamond down below. Okay, so again, I'm gonna push straight down and then as I start to pull back, you're gonna notice that I'm going to get a really nice mist, right? A really nice mist and then I'm working down across here and working down across here all the way trying to keep it as even as we can and then a little bit on to the tip and then what I can do is I can continue to work through just to make sure that we have a really nice coating and as you can see we're trying to create a nice snake pattern Just like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this again, just a little bit in the center, just like that, okay? This is a, a small little dot right in the middle. So remember, you're going to be doing this to multiple fingers at a time. So when you're done with the last finger you sprayed, you're gonna flush out that color and we're now going to change to gold. Now what I wanna be able to do is I'm gonna paint inside where the white is. So again, I'm gonna push down and then just start to kind of get around the edges. Just to highlight some of the edges. Okay, just like that. So we're almost done with the design. The last part of the design is basically doing a little bit of detail with a black and white. I'm gonna flush out the color and we're gonna go back and touch up the edges. Now what I wanna do is I wanna to try to get as close to the black as I possibly can. I'm just gonna blow it out on my finger and then just lightly start working it. Yeah. Just gonna kind of highlight the edges. Okay, just like that. The last part is I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna focus on the inside of the netting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow it out so they don't get any type of splatter. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the inside of the netting. Just to try to get it a little bit darker around the edges. We're done. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and release this. Go ahead. Okay. Once you take off the netting, you're gonna see an awesome snake skin print. Okay, I'm gonna put a nice even coat of stain resistant top coat from cuticle to free edge. We're going to cure this inside the light for a minimum of one minute. cordless airbrush is going to be super easy to create those flawless snakeskin patterns. All you need is the right color combination, netting, and you're off to the races.
Yes. Yeah.